I'm Karina Tech, author of Scolio Pilates, and I wanted to show you some sideline leg work on the reformer today for scoliosis. Uh, the position that I'll be in will be best for the three curve scoliosis. That's the one with the right, um, I'm sorry, the left lumbar convexity and the right thoracic convexity and the left hip protrusion. If it's a four curve, I'll put some details in the notes below this video about how you would do it. It would be a little bit different. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. You're going to lie down on your left side. You're going to place the large wedge, uh, small end in, behind you, underneath the left hip. Uh, we don't have Gus, the Basset Hound, with us today. He's in uh, some very important meetings, Basset Hound meetings. So uh, he doesn't like coming to the studio, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so we'll catch him when we do some more beach vids. So place the right leg up on the bar and the left leg Let's keep it, let's keep it bent. We generally keep it bent on the mat anyway, so we'll keep it bent here too. My left arm kind of hugs the shoulder rest and my head rests on another large wedge or pillow, whatever you have there. Right hand on the shoulder as per usual when we're doing the sideline leg work or, or any work. Just keep that shoulder open. So when the elbow goes back, don't allow the shoulder to cave in on you. Make sure it stays back. You're going to press out. When you're out, push through that heel and get as long as you can. It will really reverse the lumbar curve in the spine. And then come right back in. And again, you're going to stretch out long and you're going to come right back in. Do eight more here. So stretch and come back in. So if the curve is a typical three curve and the left trudes, then by lying on the left hip, you automatically are gliding the pelvis and the uh, lower lumbar spine up into the right here. So that's what you want. It kind of does the work for you just by lying on your side. The left rib, on the other hand, is working with gravity and being dropped down. So the left rib is gliding down, which is what you want. It's perfect. Sideline leg, sideline work is one of the most perfect positions for three curve scoliosis. It just pretty much does all the work for you. Uh, as long as you're you know, aligned hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder, and the hands on the shoulder and the elbows back and your head's... <laughs> Other than that, it's really simple. From here, turn the leg out to the ceiling and you're gonna stretch long. So we've just externally rotated the leg here and you're gonna keep pushing. The most important part is right here. The last two inches, try and grow another two inches from that position before you come back in and keep going there. That length is what you're after. If you make the weight too heavy, it will compress the spine. Of course, you don't want that. So let's take about, of course, you know I've lost count, so let's do about five more here. So this will be five and back in and four and back in and three and two and one. So because I like the sideline leg work or the sideline work, I'll pretty much try to find any exercise that keeps us in sideline. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a strap I'm gonna place it on my right foot. And from here, we're just going to press out. Again, remember the last two inches, that's the most important two inches where you're going to grow. So push, 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 and grow, and come back in. And push, 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 oh, my hand should be on my shoulder, elbow to the ceiling, and back in. And push, and come in and push, push through the heel, lengthen the spine, and come back in. Encourage the left rib cage to drop with gravity to the mat, and lengthen through the hip. This right hip is trying to push caudally or towards your heel, and in, and press, and in. Let's do four more, and four, or if you've been counting, do 10 all together. <laughs> Three, and two, and one. You can do all kinds of variations here. Uh, the one that I like, because I like to stretch, is to go up 
and pull down. Now be sure that you're staying within your range of motion here. My range of motion is not straight to the ceiling and it's not for most people. If I go straight to the ceiling, then you can see how my hips want to roll back. I no longer have hip over hip. Bring hip over hip and go down and up here and here and push and up. One other thing uh, that's very nice about this position is that I'm lying on my left shoulder. As we know with a three curve scoliosis, the shoulder girdle glides to the left and we want to pull it back to the right. By lying on the shoulder girdle on the left side, it pretty much does it for you. So this position is, is really great because it is, I know you're working hard here and you're having to hold a lot of this position, but a lot of it's being done for you. And three more, just going up and going down and going up and down. Good job. Two more up and down and up and down and then just bend the knee in grab the strap stretch your right leg out underneath the foot bar so you have a long leg and now you can take the arm you're going to go up and pull it down and up and pull it down I'm going to put my hand underneath this pillow it seems to be side bending me a little more than I want to to the left and here keep reaching that heel long underneath you so you're still trying to reverse uh, or reduce the lumbar curve by the stretch in the heel and you've already done all the breathing exercises that are important to uh, scoliosis and are used in the scolio pilates method make sure that you continue to breathe here deep breathing will help to hold the spine in this more neutral position as does all the work you're doing with your arms and your legs. Everything's reinforcing neutral here by making the muscles work. Let's do two more. But you know I have no idea <laughs> what number we're on. Okay, so again, I like the sideline position. If you can stay here longer and do more work, fantastic. Just find out whatever, you know, find whatever variations work for you or for your client and, and go with that. You can do more variations on the bar, you know, you can go heel toe, heel toe rotated, whatever works. The more uh, variations you can find in sideline, keep them there for 20 minutes, keep yourself there for 20 minutes, keep good form, it'll be a great position. Okay, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I did use the scolio wedges for this. You can probably get away without them, but they are very helpful for helping guide that left hip up. And this, of course, you can use whatever pillow you want under your head. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll chat soon.